do some stuff and get through the fence. And that's always fun. The gate. All my gates are like Jimmy rigged right now. Anyway. Hi! I'm Dawn. Uh, welcome to Whispering Willows. Um, my mom is a huge fan of the miniature horse. And I have not spent a lot of time in with the horses this year. So I thought we'd go live and introduce you to some of the horses. And a uh, little reveal on something that happened this morning. And I found an alternative tripod. So we're going to... Let's see if it'll work for us. Do, 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 do. Hi. Welcome to my live stream. And we're actually going to let Willow... Will! Willow's grounded. Fraser's not grounded. Well, he is kind of. But Willow is the... Uh, Willow was the instigator. So, we're going to do this. Get this gate open. Hey, Clover girl. My donkey's eyeballing me. She wants back in this pen. Okay, there we go. I gotta go and get Willow in. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second so I can grab Willow. You guys can stand there. Oh, and look at the ground. Or something. Sorry about that. Apparently my dog knocked over. That was Fraser did that. He knocked over the... Uh... Yeah, that was Fraser. I was getting Willow. Willow is uh, grounded right now. She's on her long lead because she's been taking off. She's in heat. So we're going to do this and put this... Ooh! I don't even know what's happening here. Let's get this on the tripod. Oh my gosh. Okay. There. Is that working? Maybe. Oh my, yeah, I'm technically defunct, I tell you that much. So I'm outside and I can't wear my reading glasses because <laughs> then I can't walk. Actually, I could. I could put them on the bridge of my nose. And the modem is over there on my truck, on the roof of my truck. So we'll see how far my range is. But uh, welcome to Whispering Willows. Ooh, the wild geese are in the, path, the field next door. That's always cool. Uh, this is what it's all about for me. This is this is where my whole adventure back to the country came from. I actually grew up in the country, but uh, this is where the going back came from. So there. Hey, cool. You guys can't see me anymore. I can hide. <clears throat> I can see the comments today. That's good. Welcome, Anne. So... We've had a couple of babies born this year. Um, some of you actually watched my story about Ember. That's Ember there, that tall black horse with her bum towards us. And about two weeks ago, Ember had this little lady right there. So this is Ember. Ember was uh, found hypothermic in a pasture. And uh, the vets told me there was no way I could save her. And uh, I do believe that's a fully mature four-year-old mare standing there. Very pretty one, actually. Who just had a very pretty little filly foal. About two weeks ago, they're talking to each other right now. Right now. And then this little fella, Zippy, is my lead mare. She's one-eyed. And this little guy here is her new little baby boy, who's three weeks old. And then I came out this morning, and can you see her? Look at how precious this little one is. She was born fresh and new this morning. She still has red socks on. <laughs> she is just the tiniest. I don't even know if she's going to let me. She did let me come say hi earlier, but I don't know if Reba's going to let me. Reba, it's okay. Reba's her mom. So we're going to see if this dang phone thing will stand up. That's the first thing. There. Oh, Reba's leading her away as I get the phone sorted out. Let's go over here and see if Reba will agree to play 
play nice with us today. I don't know if she will. She might. I'm just going to put this down. I think it's kind of scaring her. She doesn't know what the hell that is. Wolfie, go away. Hi, little lady. It's okay, Reba. It's okay, Reba. Here, I see her. Come on, mommy. Can I see her? Can I see her? Wolfie, the little dog, got in here, so that's causing a... Oh, Reba's going to kick her. Wolfie, go away. Oh, and now this thing's not going to behave. There, maybe. Let's hope. We can pray. I know you want to protect her, but you don't have to. It's because the little dog's in here. Reba won't won't let me see her. Hi. Let's see if we can get closer to her. Maybe if we just sit quiet for a minute and sneak up quietly. Hello, little ducky. Hello, little ducky. We may eventually accomplish this. Reba's a shy mare. Uh, where she came from, nobody spent time with her. And she's very, she's a very good mama. But she's protecting that little one because she's brand new. You can see how tiny she is. She is just the tiniest, tiniest little creature. Reba always has tiny babies. There's Grace coming in for the protection mode. Reba didn't like that much either. Willow's in here. Fraser's got half a hairdo right now. He get fit, got fed up with me trying to get that hairdo done. If they stay away, we might stand a chance. Let's see. We'll see. See if she lets me do it this time. Oh, sissy's coming up. Oh! See, I got a tripod, and now look what happens. My Lanta. Sissy's over here now. Isn't she really so cute? I know. <laughs> I'm struggling with the technical difficulty. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sissy, you want to help me out? Don't eat it. Sis, don't eat it. No, don't, don't eat it. Sissy, sissy, don't, don't. And there's the signals going off for. What's it? What's it? Okay. All right. I got to tighten this up. That's part of the reasons it's falling. Sissy, don't eat the... No, don't eat the tripod, sissy. Sissy. <laughs> sissy, what are you doing? Don't eat the tripod, sissy. No! Don't get snot on my phone. Oh, Ember's come over. The mares really are pretty protective of each other's babies. That's Hart over there, Grace's daughter. She's going to her new home soon. <laughs> Reba's like, I'm out of here. Hello, little lady. Hey, Dolly. Oh, you got a messy bum. So these are miniature horses, and a lot of people think they're ponies, but they're not. They're completely different creatures. Uh, miniature horses are miniatures of, like a teacup poodle. 
is a poodle, but teacup sized. Let's see if he'll come say hi. He and I have spent some time together. Hey Zip, how's my girl? Anybody you see with a halter on is because they're easier to catch. Uh, and they're like Sissy, the one that was trying to eat the phone. She's actually Zippy's sister. And uh, Zippy here is my, my lead mare. So she's haltered because she's easy to catch. And if I catch her, if anybody gets out and I catch Z Sissy and Zippy, uh, I can lead everybody back in. Is this going to stand up? Do you think it is? Oh, my lanta. Okay, let's, let's... I don't even know if a tripod's any better than not, you know, that at this point. Okay, let's try that. If, sis, if Zippy doesn't eat it, we might be in business. Nope. Ah! My God. Seriously. We're struggling here. Okay, it wants to lean that way, so let's change that around. and see if that helps. Now it wants to lean that way. Honestly, I hate these tripods. I seriously do. Do you know how much money we spend on these things? And then they fall apart. Somebody want to make me a wooden one? I was just talking to my mom. I said, I think I need a wooden one. Because these plastic ones are crap. <clears throat> I'm tightening down the screw on the base. Maybe I'm... Oh, here comes Onion. My stallion. Now, Ember, are you flagging him or are you trying to protect your baby? Because let's not have any of that while I'm in here. Seriously. Hello, Onion Boy. Onion's for sale if anybody is interested in a miniature stallion. Not because I don't love him, because I love him dearly. But he's a curly mane mini. Sorrel. He produces amazing babies. These are all his babies. But that's why he's for sale, because he has been the baby daddy for a couple of years now. So let's see if I can get this dang thing to stand up, and we'll play with the baby right in the middle of the herd. I know, that's why I'm trying to get close to them again, is because then you can compare. I'm five foot four, so you can kind of compare. Let's see if that'll stay standing up. Heart, heart, nope, go on heart. Baby heart, go, go, choo choo. Heart, go. You're not making my job any easier, heart. And they're all very curious as to, you know, what the heck am I doing, so. You know, once I get it, I get it sat up, and then all of a sudden, um, everybody moves on me. Let's do this. Oh. And then this thing wants to walk. We'll... Okay, we're gonna go with this, and it might be. So I have no idea what this what this shot looks like, but we'll try. So I'm five foot. Oh my god, this is not working out well, right? Like, I'm trying so hard here. Okay, let's try this. Hey, Zip. Can I talk to Stinky? Can I talk to Stinky Pony? She's going to come knock that over on me, isn't she? I swear to God, Zippy did that on purpose. We are not getting anywhere here. Okay, let's try this now. Zip, don't knock it over this time. Because, you know what? New baby is right here, and I want to see new baby. We're trying, Am. We're trying. I can't see the comments at the moment. I apologize. Because I've got the phone reversed. I'm trying to tighten this dang thing up. Again. <laughs> I think maybe that's why I don't use this one anymore. Maybe it doesn't stay tight. Zip, can you not? Let's do this for a second while I'm... I'm trying to tighten the base because it keeps falling over. But these things are made so crappy. Wolfie, leave baby alone. I really can't stand these damn tripods. Who's 
heart? Are you actually eating? Heart's eating my shirt. Hi, heart. She's eating my shirt. Okay, let's see if we can get this dang thing to stand up. Just, just stand up for a couple of minutes. Don't knock that over, heart. So I'm kneeling down on the ground, as you know. Heart, don't do it. Heart, really? Baby heart, go. Go on. Shoo, shoo. Baby heart, go. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, they're all very social, and so they want to do stuff with me. And that's what Heart's doing. She's uh, trying to investigate the truck. Don't do it, Heart. 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 No eating it. Go. Shoo, shoo. Go, baby. Go on. Go on. Go. She's not going to listen. I'm kneeling down, as you can see. Getting nowhere fast here with these damn horses. Am I cussing? Only because I'm frustrated. My little dog is a Yorkie cross. So that tells you how small the little dog is. Heart, don't, heart, don't do it. Heart, no. Go on. Go. Go on. Really? We are seriously not getting anywhere with this. That was again. Fraser, go. I'm not getting any cooperation. Oh, we got two people in here. Hi. Oh, that's the ground. That's the baby horses. Okay, let's flip this around again. No, let's just do this. Do we want to do this? No, that's Fraser. We want to do this. It's me again. All right, let's try this stupid thing one more time. Fraser, could you go away, please? I love you, but go away. Where's Mama, by the way? Oh, she's over there. <sighs> but yeah, it's not the camera, though I am. It's um, it's heart knocking the camera over and the tripod and everything else. So I moved everything, and hopefully that means she's not going to be as interested anymore. I hopefully will get this thing on the tripod. On the, I might be turning this upside down. I have no idea. Hopefully not. Okay, apparently I'm live again. Holy. Good evening to you too, AM. I'll keep trying here. It's not your reception. It was, it was, uh, issues. I hit the wrong button, but I get it. I'm just going to walk up because I can't, I can't get that dang thing to stand up with all this commotion in here. Horses knocking things down. Anyway, she's particularly tiny. She is about 14 inches to the shoulder. She is a very tiny little, little, little girl. She'll be very, very, she's going to look like her mama when she grows up, I think. She's just adorable. Trying to keep my shadow out of the video. Reba, don't do it. Reba didn't like Fraser being there. <clears throat> so she's brand new this morning. Reba's feet need to be done. She doesn't like getting her feet done. Brand, brand new. <clears throat> and we were actually looking at Ember's baby over here. She's two weeks old. Ember's a miniature Arabian. 
She was much shorter than her baby when she was born. She was actually not a lot bigger than that other little one there, the new one. And this little lady's got long legs from heaven. So I think the mini is out of this one. I think she will be a full proper pony. Ember's actually pretty tall uh, for a mini. Actually, Ember would not be considered a mini. Um, she was really sick when she was a baby. So we spent a lot of time together. There's Zippy and her little fella. He's just gorgeous. I already have somebody actually who wants to buy him and take him home. Willow's telling the lambs to get away from the fence. Got all the lambs out here. Famous thing. That's Lottie over there. Lottie's a rescue. Hey, Stinker. Are you going to come say hi to us? Are you going to let us come say hi to you? I get down on my knees and make myself small? Zippy, talk to your son. Hey, little man. No? Is that a no? You're going to hide behind your mama and go in for the slurps. Is that what you're doing? Zip, don't kick. I'm right here. Zip, don't kick. I'm right here. It's mom. Okay, it's me. Don't kick. There he is. Say peekaboo. Say peekaboo. <clears throat> Come say hi to Granny. Come on. Come say hi to Nana. Come say hi. Come on. Don't be shy. Zip, move. Your mama. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm hiding. I'm hiding from you, Mom. Come say hi. Oh, Stinker's not going to come say hi. Everybody's in a shy mood today. He and I were talking earlier. He was nibbling my fingers. There. Come say hi. No. Nope. Turning his back. Typical boy. Watch out, us. He's going to be a gray when he grows up. So that's the other thing. People, you know, oh, Zippy said, go away. Hi there. Come say hi. Oh, no. So he'll be a dark gray when he's when he's grown up. Um, people, I want that one. It's pretty. I like its color. And I tell them, you know, that's not the color it's going to be when it grows up. Fraser's checking out Tucker, my lamb. My ram. My ram lamb. Razor, we need to finish your hairdo, dude. It's hot. You look like a punk rocker, buddy. Hi, Tuck. Hi, <laughs> Tuck. Tucker. No ramen. No ramen. No, Tuck. No. One of us will win. It will not be Tucker. And he needs to know that. Some of the, some of the ewes are in heat, so he's fight, he's gonna battle it out for. He's been getting more cocky, because he's actually my pet ram, and normally he just comes up for head rubs, but today he's being a little aggressive. There, is that all you wanted? Well, geez, dude. Ooh, you got some little horn, horn nubbies in there. I didn't even know you you don't have horns, but you got little nubbies in there. Tucker. No. Tucker, stop it. <laughs> Knock it off, Tuck. Okay. So here's Lottie. Lottie's a rescue. I got her. At, he's up behind me. Tucker, knock it off. No. I can see you, you know. Yeah, you're being cheeky. Knock it off. Good thing he doesn't have horns, eh? No more. Tuck. Tucker. No. People might think that's pushy, but you gotta speak their language. He needs to know that I'm a bigger ram than he is. Really, Wolfie? So this is Lottie. See, he took off now. Not interested. 
Lottie came from a meat market. She always winters really hard, so she hasn't completely shed out yet. You can see she still has some fluff. Mind you, we we went down to minus two last night, and she has weepy eyes. But she does pretty good once she cleans up and she gets on the grass for the summertime. She's pregnant, I think. I'm almost positive. Yep, she's starting to bag up, so... If I had to guess, though, we got another month before Lottie foals. This is Belle. Obviously not a miniature horse. She's a sheep. When Belle baws, it sounds like she smokes, like, a carton of cigars a day. This is Toby. That's Tart Buddy. Toby is a... Uh, weathered ram so he's been castrated and he's he exists to keep Tucker happy in company when I don't want Tucker in with the ewes so actually in June I'll be pulling Tucker out from the ewes hey Belle uh, and I'll be putting Tucker and Toby in their own pen well they'll stay in this pen the ewes will be out of this pen and uh, that's mama because I don't want uh, babies in the middle of winter this year. Hey, Mama. Mama's a rescue. Hi, Mama. Hello, my love. She's a Cadalan You. Most of these guys are Cadalan crosses. That's a hair sheep. So that's more like New Zealand lamb versus British lamb. It's a more mellow, mild tasting meat. Just for those of you that don't know. Where has Miss Willow gone? Oh, she's still in here. Good. I let her off her leash because we're in the winter pen. Everybody's still in here until the pasture heals enough for the spring. Hello. She's new, so she's a little skittish. Hello, sweetheart. And all the ones you see dog collar and collars, so I could tell it was a you and the ram lamb. There's only one extra ram in here. That's that little guy there, that white one. That's following the bigger one. So he'll be the secondary uh, ram. So it's good to have more than one ram. But all the ewes, all the baby ewes are wearing red collars right now. Some people paint them. I don't paint them. Um, I like handling all my animals. So they got collars put on when they were smaller. This is Hope. Hope's also a rescue. Hey, Hope. How you doing, Hope? Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. She's come a long way. Would not come anywhere near me. Now she will. Fraser's licking my face. So she's come a long way. And over here we have more sheep. The goats and I are not friends at the moment, I have to say go over here. Onion is certainly interested in Ember. Ember, tell him to go away. <clears throat> Onion boy, what are you doing? Put that thing away. So this is Jewel. She's also a rescue. Jewel will stay here for life. She only has one eye. She's young. She's three years old. So Jewel will stay here for life. Anybody that I consider a true rescue will stay here for life. Heart, this is a first time shed on a miniature foal. I don't know if large horses are the same way, but many babies, when it's their first time shedding out from, from the winter, uh, they do it slowly <laughs> and in patches. So this is Grace's daughter. Grace is, is my very first rescue. She's a pony. Uh, she's what we call a 10-hand pony, paint pony. So different from a miniature horse. Hart's dad is Mr. Onion with a curly mane. You can tell all of all of Onion's babies inher have inherited that curly mane. So Hart will be going off to her new home. She was born late summer last year. And so she's been kept through the winter here. She's the only foal that was here through the winter. And she has not adopted her mom's uh, skittish temperament. Grace is quite skittish. She's also a 
rescue. Grace will stay here for life as well. She doesn't have any injuries physically, but she has some emotional ones. So heart's very cheeky and mischievous. And she trusts me like completely. Miss Ember. Hey, sweetheart. You doing okay? Can I say hello? Ember will also stay here for life because of the things we went through when she was tiny. Don't you turn your hind end to me. Don't you kick up. That little girl of hers though, those legs, that is definitely gonna be a tall horse. She'll be taller than her mom. Fraser, your haircut's like horrible. Can we fix that? Fraser was just neutered. And I started giving him a haircut. Normally you wouldn't give a, a wolfhound a haircut, but I did because uh, my ex actually cut their hair and ruined their coats. So now they have to have a haircut if I want to. And they're farm dogs, you know. But Fraser was not enjoying his haircut, so uh, I kind of gave up and let him be for a while. Of course, Wolfie running around causing mayhem. Fraser's right here. He's always beside me. Not very far. Ever. Where's Well Done? Oh, she's pacing over there. This new lady, little lady, though, is just amazing. She's just gorgeous. I'm always, like, dumbfounded at how tiny they are when they're born. Some of them. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. She's already nibbling on hay, too. Willow's over there eating horse poop. It's your birthday, baby. I wonder if she'll let us get closer. It's your birthday, baby. Hart's been following us this whole time. It's your birthday. Nope. Going for a wander. Oh, there goes Onion. Onion, you run like a girl. Boys. Oh, there's Fraser. Fraser doesn't like it when the stallions argue. Fraser boy. Don't get yourself involved in that. Fraser's protecting Copper, but he's going to get kicked if he keeps that up. Hey, Miss River, what was that all about? Did you have to go over there and rabble rouse? Hi, River. Hello, Miss River. How are you doing, sweetheart? Did you have to go over there and start that disagreement? River is not a rescue. Are you in there somewhere? Hi. Hello, Miss River. She's also pregnant. And I'm going to guess we've got, oh, she's starting to bag up, so we've got maybe two weeks before River gives birth. <laughs> he still won't let me get close. Willow, what are you doing? So yeah, I don't know if anybody has any questions about miniature horses, but that's the crew. Well, except for Miss Clover, which we could go wandering over and meet Miss Clover. Miss Clover is a donkey. She's also a mini. Fraser boy, leave him be. Fraser's still trying to protect or get himself between Onion and Copper. Copper is my registered stallion. And he matured last year. Uh, but he lives in a pen completely away from... Copper, why do you have a lead line on you? <laughs> Copper apparently picked up a lead rope. It's like over his back. Onion, go. Go on, Onion. There's my Miss Clover. Fraser boy, leave him be. Ooh, 
the camera is very dirty. I didn't realize how dirty that was. Somebody should have told me. Hang on, you're going to see my shirt for a second. I'll turn this around so I can clean that camera. This is the infirmary pen or the barn pen. Wintertime it's the barn pen. Spring and summer it's the infirmary pen. There's Clover. Clover, are you talking to me today? Clover. Hey, sweetheart. Hello, my girl. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Are you angry at me? You are. You're flaring your nostrils. Uh, really? Really? What's this all about? Are we going to have this talk again? I did say everybody here was very social. Clover baby. So miniature donkeys don't shed out with horses. Uh, donkeys actually shed out after. So Clover won't leave, lose her winter coat at all until mm, mid to end of next month. Hey, everybody here gets along. Clover loves everything. Like she's... Really? Goosey? You're bossy. Hello, ladies. These two. Willow and Fraser. Willow and Fraser. The Irish wolfhounds with a very bad... He has a bad, bad haircut right now. Hmm. Yeah, Clover's in the infirmary pen because she got into a disagreement somehow with Onion. So, hi guys. So that is the miniature horses. <sighs> Some of the uh, goats have busted out of the fence. So they're all right here right now. All that garbage I picked up the other day, remember how I picked up all that garbage? Look at all the new garbage that blew in. I have to pick that up too. So some of these goats are actually gonna go off to auction uh, in this next couple of weeks. Uh, I bought some goats late fall and they really didn't winter well, um, but also they're hopping my fences and I can't have that. So some of them will be going off to auction. The chickens, of course, are free range. There's guinea fowl, the turkey, ducks, geese. After all, it is duck, duck, goose, right? So yeah, that's my little tour of the farm for the day. I hope you have enjoyed it, looking at my forehead. And uh, if you have any questions, though, about miniature horses, goats, sheep, donkeys, uh, Irish wolfhounds, <laughs> Miss Willow again. So she's grounded. Why is she grounded? Because she's in heat, and I had to go chase her in the crop field next door yesterday in the dark. And he was following her, so that's why she's grounded. So when I leave this pen... Miss Willow and Mr. Fraser will be going, well, Miss Willow will be going on a leash. She has a fifth, no, you're not busting out in front of me. She has a 50 foot leash that I'll put her on. Will, stop. Stop pulling me. Okay, so we'll get through this fence quickly. Holding on to an Irish wolfhound that wants to pull on me. Sorry, you guys had to look up my nose or whatever it is that you're doing. And uh, we'll just get her quickly on her leash. <laughs> So she cannot take off because we do not want some random dog making babies with Willow. She's retired. She's just recovering from mammary cancer. She had surgery last month. Okay, hang tight. Let's do this. Thank you for sticking with me, whoever's watching. That's very kind of you with all the bumbling I do. She's not happy about it, but she's on that lead now. So we'll go back and close the gate. I was going to drive into the pasture today, which would have made life easier, but the platterites brought me hay. And this tire rut that you're seeing is about a foot and a third deep. So until I fill that, I can't drive into the pasture. <coughs> put some blocks under this gate 
So Bo, the new guardian pup in training, cannot get in there. He's been causing a little havoc, not understanding what he's supposed to be doing. Hello, thanks for visiting. I'm just going to tie up this gate now. Does anybody have any questions? Here, let me turn you around so you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see the horses and stuff while I tie up this gate. Finally, all the baling twine from the big round bales I use in the winter has come, you know, come out of the ground because it was all frozen in. So now I can finish cleaning up this pen. And then once I'm satisfied that the pasture has healed enough, I, uh, I will get these guys out of this pen. And then this pen will be for the male goats and sheep and stallion za so that we can actually uh, start to plan uh, birthing around here so that I don't end up with babies born in the middle of minus 46 again because that was not fun. Put you guys down there while I tie up this bottom part of this seat. I put a piece of twine down here to uh, to double kind of tie it, you know, make sure it's closed, nothing little, everything here is little. So nothing little can squeeze through at the bottom because they do that. Any opportunity, these guys will bust out all these little creatures. So my name's Dawn. This is Cluck Duck Goose. That was my very fumbled attempt at another live stream. We will eventually get the hang of this. And uh, be kind to yourself. Be kind to somebody else. Be kind to a stranger today. Can you do that for me? Peace, love, God bless, and I will see you guys next time.